Now, with the only tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate, here's meteorologist Jennifer Schaff. Well, locally is another hot day today. We made it back into the low 90s, a high temperature of 91 degrees. So how often do we hit the 90s on Labor Day? Well, records in Cincinnati go back to 1894. And since then, 16% of the time, or 23 times, we've had the high temperature at 90 or above. There's one day we made it above 100 degrees. The average high temperature for Labor Day is only 83. We obviously went well above that. Today, sixth day in a row, the temperature has been in the 90s. We've been there since last Wednesday, 91 through the week. Weekend and again today, I think we have one more to add on to it tomorrow. Six days in a row in the 90s. We haven't seen that since July of 2012. Um, Labor Day, the last time we were in the 90s was in 2008. So we are seeing some late season heat, and it looks like we have one more day to endure it for tomorrow. This evening, temperatures have been dropping back, but between 10 and 11 o'clock, we've actually gone back up a few degrees. We're at 77 still. The heat index factored in. It feels like 79. The winds are calm. That dew point is still high and muggy. It will stay there again for Tuesday. Looking at our visibilities for the overnight, the potential for some fog to develop again. These visibilities about the same as where we were. Last night at this time, I think Hamilton and Lunkin, the better potential for some spots to develop some dense fog into tomorrow morning. Looking at our temperatures right now, everyone still in the 70s, mid to upper 70s in spots. We'll be dropping off into the mid 60s later tonight. We'll drop off to around 66 or 67 for the region. It will be a quiet overnight under partly cloudy skies with calm winds. I think we'll keep it that way with dry conditions for our Tuesday forecast. Satellite and radar showing the quiet weather for the Great Lakes down through the Ohio River Valley. There are severe thunderstorms. Thunderstorm sparking out in the plains. That's our next weather maker. It's a cold front, but it's slowly sliding our way. So, does not make it here for tomorrow. We still have the dominating high pressure. We will see a few more afternoon cumulus clouds refire again tomorrow. Maybe one or two very brief sprinkles or showers. We had them run yesterday and today, but again, a vast majority of us completely dry, not calling for uh, measurable rainfall from much of any of us tomorrow. And then as we head into Wednesday, here comes that front sliding in. We're dry for the morning. I think we bring back some thunderstorms along the front during the afternoon and evening. Some of them will linger behind for Thursday, at least the first half of the day as well. We drop off to 67 for a low tonight. Some fog of potential. I think we have another muggy and warm overnight. 92 for a high tomorrow. It's the last scorcher. I think day number seven in a row for the high temperature in the 90s. Some of those afternoon clouds plan on dry conditions. Literally one or two pinpoint showers popping up in the afternoon. A potential. We had one or two of them around today. For uh, Wednesday's forecast, we're up to 84. Afternoon to evening thunderstorms, pretty widespread. They'll continue the chance into the overnight and Thursday as well. The model's varying a little bit on when it scoots out of here for Thursday's forecast, so at least through the morning to midday, we may drag it into the evening as well. Temperatures starting to drop back to 80. 78 Friday, then a secondary boundary, another cold front comes in. That will usher in the fall like weather through our weekend. We keep falling through the weekend. By Sunday, we're looking at 73. A few stray showers possible late in our weekend, but temperatures below average then into early next week.